Africans, we Ugandans are very gifted. We have very talented and gifted young people with amazing ideas, amazing ideas. You sit down with, uh, with a young person in Uganda, if you are not careful, you might end up funding their business within, within an hour or within 30 <laughs> minutes because, because they, have, they have these amazing ideas in their mind. And when they sit, when you give them an opportunity to talk about an idea, they will really blow your mind. The only thing that I have found that is challenging is transferring the idea into a real business, into you know a company, uh, understanding how to to like you know use the money that you have to put in in into place. For example, uh, a team. Uh, build an amazing product and actually, you know, sell it, uh, bring in revenue and sustain that for the next, for the next 10 or 20 years. I think, I think the problem originates from, from the perspective that young people have. They think if you have an amazing idea, then you are going to, you are going to be successful. Everyone is going to love it and everyone is going to really support you along the way. And when you start working on it, um, for you as a person, you really believe in it. And when you start to talk to people, they tell you, you know, the idea is amazing. Oh, wow, the idea is amazing. And that kind of creates a hype. And you think because people are saying your idea is amazing, they are going to give you the money. They are going to give you the capital that you need to sustain um, the business that you want to create, that company, that organization. Then you realize after six months of talking to people, no one is actually willing to invest in, in your idea. Then the frustration kicks in. The frustration kicks in and you realize, okay, the, the idea is amazing, but you know, the people that I'm talking to are not funding my idea. Uh, what should happen? And you were like, mm, I think this is not a good idea. I need to look for a job. Within, within a year, you have already given up. Uh, <laughs> so uh, in, in, 2000, in 2015, when I started to, to really think about working on Lead Minds Africa, I started, you know, I had a mentor. I got a mentor in 2015 someone who, who really had experience working with entrepreneurs. Um, he had worked with, uh, with, with, with entrepreneurs in, in, an, in, in, a, like in a hub, uh, a hub that convened, like brings together entrepreneurs and offers a co-working space. And these young people, you know, build companies, launch, launch, you know, scale their companies and even drive them to a point of an IPO. Um, so that's the kind of guy I got. And he started, you know, we started to talk. Okay. So, so at, the, at okay. that stage. Uh, can you wind, can you wind it up? Uh, can you wind it up? because we're running out of time. Okay, well, sure. Um, I, let, me, let me get to the point that I want to deliver. Uh, so so this, this, this mentor continued to make me refine the idea, how, work with me on how you know, to, to launch the organization and how to bring people on the team and how to to, re to really be prepared for, for failure and how to like sell successes and how to understand how they the success that I achieve, how it leads to the other. So I think, I think that's what, that is the missing ingredient in, in, with, the young, with the young people in Uganda. They, they don't have the patience to even work the 
the in and out of the idea that they have, the kind of, you know, if, if I launch a company, what are the kind of challenges that I'm going to face along the way? And which kind of people I need to bring on board? And do these people really have the experience needed to build something that can be successful? So they just, we, we, we have this tendency to just rush into building something that we feel is going to be successful until it actually turns out to, to test our tenacity, our spirit, as, as you were talking about, as the topic is today.